Okay, we're working on cutting some second crop today. We already did this field uh, probably a week ago now. And now we're just cutting the one right next to it. Then we'll probably go ahead and do the bailing and wrapping again tomorrow. We got another dry spell in the middle of growing second crop, so this stuff might not be as thick or as tall as we want it, but we have these flowers starting to come on the alfalfa, so it's, it's done growing, so it needs to be cut before it gets too old. We're gonna go make the windrow width a little bit narrower. We're gonna try and see if we can't go without having to rake this. When we did this field right over there, second crop, the hay was obviously a little shorter than it was in first crop, but we cut it at the same width that we did first crop. And when we went to bale it without raking it, it was slightly too wide so we were leaving some stuff on the edges so we just narrowed it up a bit and hopefully that'll help it so we won't have to rake it. We've been doing all our chopping way down at that southwest corner field down by the roads and we're getting pretty close to being done with that but I think dad said that he wants to just finish up cutting that and then we'll go ahead and start chopping this field again right away. We chopped this field for first crop and I guess we're going to go ahead and do the second crop chopping it also. If it doesn't take too long then if it takes too long and stuff starts getting really old then we'll cut it and go start chopping somewhere else.
place it was last year. Okay. Both, both spots? Yep. Well, the, the side hill I was running out of sedan, so most of that is oats. I don't know how that'll do in the heat of the summer. But, uh, if it doesn't, I can dig it up. If I have time. Put some alfalfa in there, but that's got to be in by all middle of August. Of course, I suppose with global warming, I've got another couple of weeks. I'm not sure. Yeah, probably. So if you're hauling manure in this field, the end is good, but right above from that first valley this part here okay. needs the nutrition. It's pretty good up front. Well, this is the spot where if I was hauling in first gear over the winter, it would start getting thinner right here. Yep. And, then and that's I, the way it is every year, right? right? That's why this spot is a little less, because we've run out of manure by this part. Right, and then I went just to that end and started going sideways back, and then I only got so far. It always looks really nice here in the valleys because the water is always coming through here and it brings nutrients down from off of that hill. So everything gets really good nutrition also and it grows really nicely. We're getting down to the end now, only a couple more passes down the middle. Doing this section of the outside round must be a little more difficult. The field he is cutting is slightly higher than the one I'm walking in and there's a little bit of a ridge in between from where the plow goes when we did this up, so his right haybine wheel is sitting a lot lower than the left one. So the haybine's sitting uneven on the ground and he's still trying to get as much as he can. When I was mowing this field right here, near the end, the shoe that is underneath the, this close side of the haybine that kind of keeps the sickle running up above the ground actually came off, and we haven't fixed it yet, so that could explain why this close side, there's one spot that keeps plugging up, and it doesn't cut this little strip of grass, so it leaves it behind.
Dad told me he was going to go ahead and take a couple of rounds off of this field too, so it won't take us as long to chop it, so the hay doesn't get too old. When we're chopping first crop, it took us only one once around, I think, to fill the wagon up. It'll probably be a little bit more than that for second crop, but probably not a whole lot more. So it goes by slowly when we're chopping and it's only six feet wide as opposed to the 12 feet of the hay bind. So it'll take a lot longer. And of course we'll fill the wagon only once per day as opposed to coming out with a chopper and chopping the whole thing off at one time like we're doing now. This spot in the field right here got washed away pretty badly when we first planted it because of the rain. So there are some nice, some nice ruts in here from the water washing all the dirt away. Coming around the final corner now. Just this little stretch of field then and we'll be done. Go ahead and put the pins in as well. These keep the hay bind from settling down once the hydraulics are unhooked. Keeps it up. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.